we continue presenting the the draw package in WX Maxima this time dealing with three-dimensional graphs this is our first part and we're going to show you the um, the document right here now I, I was mentioning that when we did the 2d we were having tr trouble filling up the space in here so what I'm going to do I'm going to copy this create a new file close the tip of the day enter a uh, a text cell the control V that will give you the information and then we can continue working with the with the buttons here this is going to be a um, 3d explicit so we got 3d we don't want an animation we just place ok and then we need the explicit x square minus 125 and so we go for expression actually the one I wanted to do is x squared plus y squared minus 125 with x between minus 5 and 5 and y between minus 5 and 5 then our title is going to be example to the explicit uh, and access we have Uh, x label x centimeters with an x range within minus six and six y is going to be y centimeters with a range within minus six and six and z label is going to be z centimeters with a z range into minus 140 and minus 100 I don't the graphs, so I know the labels. I mean the, the limits. And so we're building our command right here. And finally we go for our grid. And the grid is going to be 1 1. Here's the command, and let, let's see if it works. No, it didn't work. The reason it didn't work. It's because we actually have two commands there. I'll eliminate this one. I have this one right here. And I'm going to have to enter spaces in there. And delete it again. I guess the lesson I learned from here is that you need to enter the spaces after you enter the w, uh, draw TD. There it is. And so the, the, the command that I'm missing or the line that I'm missing here enter is grid equal one 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 I suppose shift enter oh okay let me get rid of these and try from here oh it's only two I was putting a third and so that will give me problem and that gives me my three-dimensional explicit um, function now if you double click on it no it doesn't work do a right click no okay do a right click inside the graph and uh, click and pop out interactively and you get this graph over here where you can change the orientation of the point of view okay and what else can you do? As degrees, so meetings. How about this configuration dialog? Put the window at the top of the desktop, then quit until the close, replace queue. Redo continue and then rendering meter and then I send over sample. Uh, not familiar with this thing, so we're gonna clip keep it like that. And I'm gonna show you some way to change the, the, the display of the line right here. Let's close that. Um, actually, if I go back to to this and get to the very last case, it says add the spec enhance 3D. So we're going to copy this line. We're going to go back to the other document and I'm going to put a comma here. Enter, Control V. We're going to 
enter the line that says extends 3D whatever. And it doesn't seem to have, well, let me try once more. I'm going to delete this one from here. And I'm going to put it immediately before. Sometimes it works that way. There's a missing comma, yeah. No, it's not working. Let me try that again. Oh, I left a comma here, so it may have worked. Let's do, let's do Control Z. Take out that comma. Yeah. So that line enhanced 3D surface high true, wire surface equal true, produces a different texture for the graph. If I do a, a right click pop out interactively, bring that in here, you can change the, the orientation of the point of view and you can see the graph in different ways. But it looks more solid this way and so uh, I would recommend you add that line for your three-dimensional graphs. Remember if, you, if there's an extra comma there, it doesn't like it. It gives you an error. So you just make sure that get rid of the commas. Typically the graphic itself is uh, it's given by explicit with a comma and then everything else it has its own comma but the presence of this extra comma there wouldn't let me do the work okay we're, we're gonna go back to the first document example uh, five with explicit and black and six and implicit which is repeated twice here, I just realized. So I'm going to re remove it here. Let's take this out. Control C. Go for a new. And close this out. Cell. Insert the text cell. Control V to give you my example. And then I start with 3D. OK. Now what I'm going to do is click here and. Sorry. I, I press a shift and then I shouldn't have pressed. So let me do that again. I'm going to delete this. 3D. OK. Click in here. Enter, 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 enter. To give enough space to fill out that way. OK. Now I need to bring back my cursor right here. And then let's go for an implicit. And that implicit is going to be x square plus y square plus z square minus 6 and variable for x going from minus 2 to 2 y minus 2 to 2 z minus 2 all of them and so this is a long is a long document and the okay is right here at the bottom and then now we go for um, the diagram title example 3d implicit and then we go for our axis x millimeters range from minus 3 to 3 y millimeters minus 3 to 3 z millimeters again from minus 3 to 3 and for the grid we have one one. We're ready. Control enter. And it render our our figure in, in an implicit manner. Now I'm going to add the line that we had in the previous in the previous document. Let me get it. Let me get to that one. There you go. Is this enhanced? 3Ds, whatever. Control C, go back to the one I'm working with now. Actually, I got an extra spaces here that I'm going to get rid of. And put the line immediately after that. Enter, Control V, Shift Enter. Okay, so it gives me that. That looks more solid. And what's happening there is that my range of values from minus 2 to 2 
for x, y, and z is too small, and so it, it leaves a lot of holes into that sphere. And so it, we could we could change here from uh, minus three to three, for example. Make it equal to the range here. And actually, we could change this to 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 give more space to minus four to four. I'm just going to copy this, control C, control V, control V, shift enter. Now it looks like a solid sphere, uh, although the, the scale is not, is not um, at, at equal scale, and so it looks like an oblate spheroid. But if I do a right click and say prop out interactively, bring it in here you can see it in different look uh, from different points of view with that we're going to stop this second oh this first part of the three-dimensional graphs and continue in the next video